Hey everybody, it's Karen again. I am still at home as you can see, but my quarantine ends tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I appreciate all the concern and prayers, and mostly I just sometimes feel really tired. But I wanted to let you know today about what's coming up for Ash Wednesday and Lent. Ash Wednesday is one of the most important services to me in the whole Christian year, and it's hard to even describe why that is. But I think about the congregation gathering together and one by one people coming forward and imposing the ashes and saying those powerful words, remember that you are dust and to dust you shall return. Now that may sound morbid, it may sound sad. The whole mood of repentance may be one that you don't feel like embracing. And I understand that. I've just always found Lent such a powerful time to go inside for some reflection and examination about what life is really about, what it's really for, and the beautiful life that God intends for us. Lent is an invitation to go deeper and to take this one precious life that we have and see the treasure that's inside it because of what God has given us. This year, because we can't do the imposition, we are presenting ashes in a different way. If you are able to come to the Ash Wednesday service on Wednesday evening at six outdoors, you will be very brief. You'll receive a bag of Lenten devotional materials and a little box of ashes then. If you'd rather not, or don't think you can, we're also going to live stream a service on Ash Wednesday at seven, and you can pick your bags up ahead of time. This Sunday, um, between 11 o'clock in the morning and five in the afternoon, there'll be somebody there um, handing out these beautiful Lenten bags that I'll tell you more about in just a second. Um, Janice and Alan and I will be there at different times uh, to hand out bags in the parking lot too. So this Sunday, come and pick them up so that you have your ashes for Ash Wednesday and you have all these Lenten materials for the weeks ahead. If you're not able to get out, if for whatever reason you just cannot leave the house, please let Alan know and we'll make sure that you get one of these bags delivered to you. We have them for everyone. We have a bag for every family in our church. I wanna show you a picture of what's in the bag. Lenten devotionals, two different ones, one called Messy Lent, uh, with lots of, of questions and activities, things you can do with family or, um, or with friends remotely, or if you're in a pod. Um, there's another Lenten devotional, if you prefer, that's um, uh, based on the poetry of Emily Dickinson, just lovely stuff. But there are also little treasures in this bag, as you can see. And these are all meant to, um, to fill up your faith during this time, to refresh your spirit, and to draw you closer to the God who loves you so much. So I hope you'll participate in Ash Wednesday or in Lent in whatever way you can. And in the meantime, friends, you know, be well, stay safe, keep the faith. God bless.